Hey, good morning. We're uh, using a uh, pulley system with a rigging plate and uh, a couple steel and aluminum carabiners here and a few pulleys and a Gree Gree 2. So let me show you that. What we've got here is uh, I think it's a six foot strap doubled over a rigging plate. 80 KN steel carabiner connected to the rigging plate and a steel carabiner connected to a Gree Gree 2 and the Gree Gree 2 goes all the way over here to a 20,000 pound double sieve pulley system and a double ascender aluminum carabiner and so we're using basically a Z-Rig and up in the tree right now, I'll show you that in a second, we've got uh, probably about 75 pounds of dead weight in a bag, my rigging bag. So we're going to walk over there and see how that looks. On this end, we've got a uh, 5,000 pound pulley, single sieve. Like to get a, a little bit heavier duty one, but that's all I have for right now. And a uh, screw on carabiner connected to a uh, whoopee sling. And then going up the tree, we've got our uh, dead weight. And up in the tree I've got a, uh, a sling with a small ring, big ring, acting as the pulley up there. It's not as efficient as a pulley, but when you think about it, for a rescue application, uh, you know, you just pull that sling up and you've pulled your pulley up, basically. So it's two steel rings with a uh, blue safety line, 6,000 pound or whatever uh, test rope there. Low stretch. So then we come back over here and to uh, I'm able to pull up that 75 pounds no problem with my own weight and I just pull backwards on it and lean weight my weight into it and it pulls it up. Be interesting to see how 250 pounds or 500 pound weight would be on that. Probably need a couple people to pull here. But anyway, uh, to let down, when I let go of this, the Gree Gree 2 actually, uh, you know, supports that weight up there. And if I were to release this slightly, you can see that the bag comes down slowly. The problem with doing it this way, of course, is that um, I really need to de-rig the uh, pulley system. To, uh, to bring down the bag, and I'll demonstrate that in a minute. So, here we are with the, uh, I think this is five to one. I have to figure out where my load's at. The load's on this end. So there's a rule of thumb for that. When the load's on that end, then you gotta kinda figure out what your uh, mechanical advantage is, but we'll assume five to one for now. Anyway, so I'm gonna pull back on this, and uh, with one hand, and I'm pulling up about 75 pounds right now with one hand. And as you can see, the uh, five to one comes together, and then I have to extend it by pulling on the ascender in a Z-rig configuration here. And the bag is going up. For every foot I pull here, it's going up one-fifth the distance. So then I walk up to my uh, ascender. And all I do is pull back, and then as you can see, the flaked out rope that I was pulling on comes back very quickly, and I got to grab it and pull in line again, single handed. And the bag goes up the tree. And as you can see on the rigging plate, 
as I have force on, on it, they're equal. But as I let go, the Gree Gree takes the weight and the hitch climber pulley. The hitch climber pulley now is off balance because all the weight is absorbed here. It's a pretty good system. So what I've done is I've uh, isolated the Gree Gree all by itself and you can see it still holds the uh, 75 pound of dead weight up on that tree over there up about 50 maybe 45 40 feet there it comes down the pulley on a whoopee sling comes across and then I've got uh, got to remove my ascender over there with the uh, pulley yet uh, and over here as you can see I have the pulley I pulled the rope out of it so the only thing supporting that weight is the Gree Gree. So what we're going to do now is going to remove the ascender here. So bear with me a moment while I do that. So as you can see what I have now is um, I've taken off the uh, ascender with the double sieve pulley. It's on the ground here temporarily. So my rope is now clear. And I am free to allow the uh, I'm free to allow the uh, 75 pound dead weight to ascend. So as you can see, the rope is clear now. The only thing holding my weight up there is the uh, is the Gree Gree too. So it's not a Gree Gree ID. It's not a more fancy uh, descender device but uh, it'll do the trick but I really need to use two hands to do this so uh, I'm going to turn the camera off a second here okay I think I can do this with two hands here so as I release the rope gets pulled through my hands and it's uh, notice flaking over the uh, side of the Gree Gree 2 and it's a very controlled descent even with 75 pounds bag is coming down but I've got to uh, maneuver it over a branch so there may be a little bit of a fall to it hopefully not got to kind of work it slow let it come down come on. okay let's let it settle in there you know lock it. If I want to lock it off of course I could uh, tie this off here. Okay the bag just freed up up there I heard it. So let's see if we can see that any closer here. Alright so let's proceed with uh, bringing it down further here. As you can see, it's a, it's a very smooth, smooth action. Even just holding the camera in one finger, just controlling the handle of the Gree Gree. And uh, I'm going to go slow so I don't heat up my finger here. And I'll show you the bag here. So there's the bag. That was up in the tree. Now I don't have a belay rope attached to it because that would double the expense of this operation currently, so I'll save up for that perhaps. And uh, I was thinking of cons replacing the Grigri 2 with the Grigri I or uh, Petzl ID rather. So let's continue here, get the bag all the way on the ground.
Okay, the bag has 15 feet to come yet. And the bag is on the ground. As you can see, held in by an anchor nut on an aluminum carabiner. No safety nut. Of course, if this was a person, we'd probably want to do that, I would imagine. So here's the uh, pulley over here on the whoopee. And, uh, Going up the tree, probably can't see the sling way up there, but it's a small ring, big ring, and we can retrieve remotely. It's a pretty nice system. But, uh, you could actually pull a person up that way, or perhaps do a rescue that way. And this again is part of the pulley system where we get at least a four to one, possibly five to one mechanical advantage with the rigging plate and the hitch climber. Pulley on this end. And a rigging plate and a 80k and a steel carabiner and a nylon strap. Rated at uh, 31 kn I believe. Doubled over probably a little bit more.